Welcome to a lot of fishing TV today. We are here to do a review on the Bass Pro Whip It Stick. All right, so I'm gonna take this rod all the way down from the butt, going all the way to the top of this thing, right? So the immediate change that I noticed from the previous whooping stick, and I wanna show you a picture right here. The previous whooping stick had cork on the butt and the hand handle of the reel. The only thing I do notice that may be a difficulty using this rod is because of the handle at the top of the reel where you hold the rod to catch a fish is a little bit uncomfortable because the EVA foam that they use on this is not the same. It doesn't have the width of the cork that they used before. So I feel like there was a budget thing going on when Bass Pro decided to revamp this rod itself. So I can tell you right there, that's the immediate con for me because I was once comfortable with the cork and then I was comfortable with the width of the handle up top where the cork once was, where the EVA is now, it is not the same. When I wrap my hand around the EVA foam, it literally devours it and I feel like I can, st I can still feel the rod and I can feel the real seat and I'm not a big fan of that. In terms of the rod itself, when you're looking at the design, the colorway, the color scheme, in other words, is still the same. It is still your red, white, and blue. Still got all the beautiful specs to it that it had before, as you can see. And in terms of the guides, the guides are still the same. There are aluminum oxide inserts that it once was before. Now, in terms of the rod itself, a lot of people are wondering, like, what is so different about this rod that it was before? In terms of the rod, I'm just giving you a brief intermission, is also is the same as it was before. I still get the flexibility in terms of the sensitivity and the backbone that it does have because when you whip down, and break it down into two pieces, you can feel the backbone in the one piece that I have in my hand here. There is a lot of backbone to this, and I can say for a medium seven foot rod with a lot of flexibility at the tip, the backbone is very powerful. So if I accidentally hook it to something that was a little bit bigger than what I was targeting from the rip, I do feel like I can still bring that fish in with the comfort that I had with the last one in terms of just catching the fish. But I don't know how I feel about this because in my hands, I just don't like it. In terms of fishing, it might just be the same exact thing to me. This is not a diss because I still think the rod does have the integrity and the sensitivity that it did have before, but there are changes. I want to talk about the real seat itself. I know a lot of people probably looking at the real seat. The real seat is changed. Even though it's the same graphite real seat, the problem is is that it's not flushed with the reel itself. There's a lot of space in between that reel seat when it comes down to the rod and the reel itself. You can still see some spacing in between there. It's not as flushed as before. But the way the reel seat is designed, it will keep you from having to have stretch fractures on the rod itself. But in terms of comfortability, there's this little lump here and it's not as flush. What makes you feel a little bit weird and different about it if you are so used to the old model of the Cabela's whooping stick, which is now called the Bass Pro whooping stick, as you can see the sticker on the end of this thing here. This is, in terms of the EVA, to dig a little bit deeper. It is contoured. In other words, it is shaped to feel comfortable. But like I said before, it's not the most uncomfortable in terms of the EVA foam itself, but in terms of the handle where the EVA foam meets, it is not that comfortable in my opinion, because like I said, as my hand grabs that thing, it literally just devours it. And I feel like that is a big issue for me because I do like to fish comfortably, especially when I was once using a rod with the same name that was once more comfortable before. Like I told you in this picture here, you can see how long that cork is with the handle and how in depth and defined that rod is and the way the cork is laid completely flat in terms of the symmetric of the rod itself. So it wasn't too much outgoing. There wasn't no lumps and bumps or just these crazy molds to make it look good or feel, you know, or in other words, feel comfortable. 
it was just straight, flat, comfortable. And that's what I like and miss about the old Cabela's whooping stick. It's, you know, um, I don't think that I will have an issue in terms with catching fish with this rod. I do think that this rod is really, really, really good. Um, I do notice a few changes that I wanted to address before. But I feel like in the same aspect, um, if you're looking at the rod itself, I felt like they wanted to go a cheaper route. So this is why we're dealing with this um, this EVA foam, which is extremely hard. It's not really a soft, more comfortable EVA foam that I'm used to using with other rods. It is not the worst. Like I said, the real seat is a little bumpy and lumpy and it's not as flush with the real seat that I would like it to be. It makes everything comes out a little bit more. So now that when I'm reeling my hands, and sometimes I like to go right in here, I feel like I might end up bumping my hand when I'm reeling the fish in. I do feel like we have the same rod. I know we just don't have the entire integrity of the rod because of the merge. So it made things change a little bit. Um, I will be doing a second review on this rod here, showing you fish that I catch, showing you how I feel about it actually in my hand. And I'm glad they didn't change the blank of this rod because it still keeps the integrity. As you can see, the tip of the rod still have the high-vis white so that you can see the rod tip bouncing if you are bottom fishing. This is the Mega Cast Spinning Reel by Bass Pro that I have paired up with the Bass Pro Whooping Stick. I was a little bit upset when I started seeing the handle i thought that maybe they might have changed the entire whooping stick but i felt like they just wanted to go a cheaper route in terms of the eba foam and the graphite reel seat which is not too much a cheaper model of it but it's a design that just doesn't work for me i it's not that serious i, I was really loving the cork that was completely flush and symmetric with the rod itself that gave it a whole entire smooth sleek feeling but now it's more it feels too modern for me and i'm just ready to get out here and show you guys what this thing do here in the near future but i think that's it i don't need to cover too much about this this rod that much i just wanted to have a small review on this and show you what had changed about it and i think we covered everything like i said eba foam but handle it goes up into the the three layer blank, eight ton e-glass and the 24 ton split core. So it's all the same in terms of that. Like I said before, man, we just got to get it out there and see if there's any changes in terms of the physicality and the actual catching the fish. But y'all already know what it is, man. Like I always tell you, man, there's nothing wrong with a lot of the fishing and I'll see you guys next time.